All right, we will see how to simulate a simple epidemic model using Google Sheets. But before that, let's see the problem setting. Here's the state transition diagram of this problem, and these numbers indicate the number of the infective in the population. So uh, the state transitions are the following. Uh, first, infection or recovery from the infection, or doesn't change anything. And the transition prob probabilities are given like as this. So infection is given by this. So beta is the infection rate and tau is a small time interval. And i is the number of the infectives at the moment. And n is a constant that is the total population size. So i times n minus i, so it's uh, product is the product of between the number of infected people and the number of susceptible people's people. And this one indicates the transition probability of recovery. So that only depends on the number of uh, the infectives. And the transition probability of uh, staying in the same state is just 1 minus these two probabilities, this and this. So at any moment, at any step, only one of these three possible transitions will occur. So uh, this is the problem setting. Let's see how we can simulate using the Google Sheets. So first we need to set some parameters and the first one is the time step let's say 0 0.01 and infection rate is beta let's say 1 and the recovery rate is gamma let's say 0.5 and the last parameter is the number of uh, all uh, total number of individuals in the population so that is n let's say 100 and next uh, for convenience let's put sequence here uh, let's say sequence up to 2001 and time is uh, this uh, we can use this sequence times the time step that is b2 Okay, let's copy this. And next, it's uh, the number of the infectives. So the initial condition, let's say two individuals. And the number of susceptibles, that is, the, that is 100 minus uh, this uh, infective. So that will be uh, B5 minus this. Okay, and next we want uh, the probability of uh, increase of one uh, one more infectives. So that will be given as uh, beta. That is b three times delta uh, tau. That is b two times uh, infectives times susceptibles uh, divided by the total no uh, population size that is b5 okay that should be it and the probability of recovery that is equal to uh, gamma that is b4 times and the number of uh, and tau that is b2 times and the number of infectives okay that should be it and then uh, let's uh, make random numbers so rand this and next is whether we increase or decrease in or decrease the population okay 
So that is if the random number, that is this one, is less than the probability of plus one, then we have plus one. Otherwise, if the random number is less than the sum of uh, this probability and this probability, then we decrease the population by one. Otherwise, the population doesn't population size doesn't change. So that should be it. Then the next steps, uh, the, the next number of infectives will be uh, the previous number plus this one, increment or decrement. Okay. And the number of susceptibles is always 100 minus uh, the number of infectives. So let's copy this. Uh, to all the way down to 2000 or so. Okay. Okay, so that's it. So now we see some uh, increase or decrease of the number of infectives. So let's plot this. Uh, that is time and this. Insert chart. And the x-axis should be time, and the y-axis should be on the infectives. So here it is. OK. So every time I edit this file, we'll get a uh, different trajectory. So in this case, uh, at some step, like at some step here, where is it? Maybe three steps or so. Uh, and when time is three, uh, whether it's days or weeks, whatever, uh, the number of infectives will be zero. So the epidemic is over. And let's see. Another trajectory, another trajectory. And sometimes uh, it will more or less converges to it converge to some value around 50 or so this this again this disappears very uh, quickly okay that's it